Greetings, folks. Got a blurb right here about Laplink 5. It's still something that I use pretty frequently in LGR for, uh, well, transferring files between PCs. Mostly older ones, of course, because this is something that uses serial or parallel or, uh, and there's some other options too, modem. But typically I use a uh, parallel because it's pretty quick with the cable that it comes with. And uh, yeah, this is a sealed copy here. I just recently got it. Uh, I've only ever used this in a, uh, a less than legitimate copied copy. And I've been looking for a box sealed, not sealed, whatever. I just wanted a box copy uh, for my own collection. And yeah, because I like the program. Ran across this. And what's cool is this also comes with, uh, yeah, some cables. So two different kinds of discs, a high-speed parallel cable, and a travel light serial cable, four-headed. Okay. But yeah, it pretty much works on any PC, which is, uh, you know, big selling point. And the reason why I use this to, like, back up hard drives and such like, uh, I actually just used this the other day to back up the Toshiba satellite that I had come in through a donation. Um, anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's what this is. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it. And uh, I, I did have, like, the cables, like an actual lap link cable, both a parallel and a serial version of lap link cables. But just those on their own. I just had copies of the software. Uh, and, of course, it'll work with, like, null modem cables for serial and other things for your modem, but anyway, whatever. The fact that it comes with quote-unquote official cables is pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Oh yeah, this is another thing too, promotional copy, not for resale. <laughs> and it was never open, so uh, whoever was getting this promotional copy never did anything with it. This could have been, you know, a magazine or a reviewer, a newspaper, even just the stores themselves. They'd get promotional copies to open up and install and demonstrate in the stores. So who knows where it came from, but whatever. It's not terribly special. So I, I, I have so many different promotional copies of different things over the years. You just run across them. So anyway. All right. Ooh, do I want to open all of it? Yeah, I do. I don't care. <laughs> I was going to say, I could kind of leave the plastic on there, but I'm not going to. Ah, dang it. Some sharp, fresh cardboard there. Goodness. Yeah, that's real sharp, actually. Notably more so than most other boxes that I have. Oh, wow. Everything is nice. Nice and tucked in there, and even more plastic. Whoa, that is substantial. Look at that. I don't see too many of these. Or, you know, this kind of uh, plastic holder keeping it all together. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway. Okay, so we have a uh, substantial user's guide here. Yeah, 234 pages. Goodness. I mean, that's kind of awesome, though. There are a lot of variables just to get this thing doing what you need. And, you know, it's got the other sort of tertiary programs that it comes with or just uh, other features within Laplink. Yeah, there, there's all sorts of stuff. I mostly just want this or just use this for uh, doing direct hard disk backups and things of uh, computers where I can't easily take the hard drive out of there and i just want to back it up and uh you know make a clone effectively over a connection just plugging it into another computer and getting everything off of there without having to use any removable media or other kind of things it's just really easy for doing that you can bootstrap it it's just super useful i have one here that says lap link accessories i like how they put five off to the side of the v there i guess just to make sure people aren't calling it lap link v but yeah, this was the fifth version. Oh, hey, look at this. Look at that. Longer lap link cables. Hot links, a book on linking computers? Why do you need a whole book about that? Parallel port multiplexer by Zircon. Zircon put out some really cool stuff actually for parallel ports. Anyway, 
uh, acoustic coupler. All right. Ever need to hook up a modem, but you couldn't get the phone jack in the hotel? Yeah, that was a way to do it. Interesting to see it advertised in the 90s. Uh, yeah, all sorts of cool stuff in here. Is that open? Nope. Oh, it's like a little sleeve. Okay. Interesting. Uh, quick start and reference. Ooh, look at the cables. Oh, okay. Uh, my serial cable was um, gray, not blue, so that's exciting. Anyway, lap link five, quick start. I'm excited to use this, I'm serious. We're gonna use it in this video. Okay, so seven steps to copying by cable. Yeah, it's pretty darn easy. You install it, you connect the cable, you basically see that it sees itself <laughs> on one computer or another, and you select them and copy. I mean, it's so it's so simple. I, I'm a big fan of copying things directly like that, and you just don't have to worry about you know, moving any kind of uh, magnetic media or optical media or just anything else. You don't have to take out the hard drive. It can take a darn long time, especially over serial, but even over parallel, it's not extremely fast. I think like three to five megs per second at the max. If you have like ECP and other stuff. Anyway, I've never tried the modem though. That would be kind of interesting because I don't really have very much use for modems. I don't even have a phone line in my house, so I can't try to dial up into any old BBSs or dial up ISPs that are still around. The very few that are. Okay, here we go. Ooh, a seal. By breaking it, you accept the terms and conditions. I accept. Oh yeah, look at that. Here we go again with that promotional copy, not for resale. You really want to make sure that it didn't end up in some secondhand shop, I guess. A lot of good that would have done. I bought it secondhand. <laughs> Whatever. 27 years later. Anyway, so this is a, a 720K 3.5 inch disc. Makes sense. It's not a big program. So this will be 1.2 megs, I'm assuming. Yep. You can tell no, no inner ring or anything, but it also says 1.2, so... There's that. I'll have to use a high density floppy disk drive if I want to read this. Most of my computer builds now just have a 360K, five and a quarter inch, because most games that I would uh, read most often are 360K, not 1.2 meg. You really didn't see too many retail games distributed at 1.2 megs. Uh, lots of software, but not games. Unless you're talking like shareware. Uh, I've got a bunch of shareware games that were distributed at 1.2 megs. Anyway, whatever. It's got nothing to do with anything. I just am rambling about computers. So here we go. How does this come out? <laughs> I guess it's taped up. All right, pulling out the Gerber once again. Oh. Attached at the hip. Look at that. So the serial cable has both 9 pin and 25 pin. No need for an adapter. That's really cool. I wonder if you can go in between the two. Like connect this 9 pin to this 25 pin and they'll still do their thing. <laughs> and then of course parallel. This is exactly like the other one that I have. Cool to have a serial cable. It's blue. It's got both ends on each end. All right. Well, let us go ahead and uh, install it really quick. I'm just going to use Laplink 5 to copy over some files from one computer to another just to show you how it works in case you haven't seen it or if you haven't seen it in a long time. I don't know. It's a highly useful program for, <laughs> for LGRs anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Laplink 5 time. Let's do it. All right, I got a couple computers going here. Uh, the IBM ThinkPad 380XD that uh, featured an LGR before and a Packard Bell that I'm going to feature and needed to copy some files over to demonstrate some things on it. So yeah, we'll go ahead and just load LL5 on both of these here. And <laughs> you can see it's already detected each one. 
And yeah, it's just using that yellow parallel cable that it came with and uh, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and check the options here just to make sure that we're running the right parallel port mode because I wanted to run it in accelerated 8-bit, not the standard 4-bit. Get all that parallel speed. Yeah, so we're on accelerated mode for each one. So that's great. And yeah, really all we want to do here is I'm just going to connect to uh, one to the other. Yeah, we'll do Packard Bell here. It looks like the dates don't quite exactly match. So sure, I'll set this one. Yay, whatever. Okay, and you can see it's doing things here. It's got a current incoming connection. And I can actually see, see on the Packard Bell through this and it's just looking at it through the parallel port and uh yeah you can just browse through here and see whatever you want uh not that i really need to do that because what i want to do is copy over the games that are on here to this and we're just going to start with duke 3d because of course we are so yeah here's this so all we need to do is select it pressing space and it turns it blue and we just press F2 and OK. And it'll start the process of transferring via parallel, accelerated parallel on LPT1. Turbo mode and compression turned on. I don't know exactly what those mean, but that sounds good and it's the default settings, so I leave it. <laughs> and it works just fine. And of course, if we want, we can do things over here. I mean, it's not really recommended because, I mean, it's doing things over here. So it will be a, a bit sluggish. But there's just a little bit of a delay even just doing that. <laughs> and that's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy over all the rest of this stuff. But, uh, you know, not right now because that'll take a while. And I'm not going to do it all in video. So I went ahead and disconnected. And I should be able to go to the game's Duke 3D folder. Whoops. And here it is. <laughs> See how simple that is? Like, you know, if that's all you're doing, it is just that simple. You really don't have to set up much of anything. Just make sure your ports are open and set to the right settings, like in your BIOS, your system settings, if you have Windows things going. But I'm just doing it through DOS, so it really is very simple. Um, yeah, I don't even know what kind of sound thing is on here in terms of compatibility. I don't even have speakers plugged in. I guess I detected it, so that's something. And check it out. Duke 3D running straight off of this PC, transferred over a parallel port and lap link 5. It's just awesome. Uh, and, you know, if you've used it, then... Um, <laughs> This is nothing new, and you know exactly what it is, and it's probably going to be rather underwhelming. But hey, it's just, it's useful stuff. Like, I, I first used this back in high school, because I was uh, in the computer class there, and I was tasked with maintaining all kinds of different old computers. And they, were, they were old even back then. Uh, really only about 10 years old, in retrospect, but they seemed old. Anyway... And lap link was one of the things that we do, especially on laptops, for uh, you know just transferring a bunch of files over, you know, mainly office programs and you know documents for just general school crap. I don't know. They were teachers' computers, just junk they put on there. And then, of course, I would inevitably transfer some shareware as well because why not? You know, what's the use of doing work on a, a school computer at school without hiding some DOS games on there? <laughs> <laughs> so, I stuck Doom on the school computers. Who didn't? Um, anyway, Laughlink was one thing we used to do that. And otherwise, it was all network stuff. You know, just just cat five cables running throughout the entire school, and you could network things. But that's if the computer had a networking, you know, a uh, compatible Ethernet port, and uh, a lot of the computers didn't. And it's the same with this one. Uh, that does not have Ethernet. This does not have Ethernet. I don't think, does it? No, it doesn't. And, you know... 
But yeah, there, there are all sorts of options for transferring files. Some are faster, some are slower. This is just one of them that happens to work extremely simply and it's reliable and I like it. And uh, I'm glad to have a physical copy of it just because I like physical copies of otherwise boring programs. I don't know. It's oddly unusual to find a lot of applications like this boxed <laughs> and especially coming with the, you know, it's sealed so it came with all the stuff including the cables. So, uh, to me, it's kind of special and incredibly useful. Because like I said, I use this all the time for LGR, and that's not going to stop anytime soon. All right, it's time to die. There we go. Well, that's it for this blurb. Stay tuned for a video about this Packard Bell. Thanks for watching.